there are three major ways in which I'm mirroring in Blender using hard ups, and I'm going to show you all of them with some really cool tips and tricks on the side. But at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick using mirror with decals. So stick around. So the very basic way of mirroring, in, you know, with hard ups is that you simply press Alt X, right? So select the mesh Alt X and you mirror from the side you want to mirror from to the side you want to mirror to. Now you can revert this behavior by going to Alt X and pressing Tab, which is going to reveal more options here. You go here and you click on this Revert Gizmo Handlers. And then you click on the other side of the gizmo on this handler, right? And there you go. Now, personally, I prefer to use it the traditional way. So I want to mirror from the side that's, you know, that's been modified to the side that hasn't been modified yet. Just makes more sense to me. Now, by default, this mirror, right? So if you have one mirror, right? You will see that there's a one mirror modifier with one axis affected, but you can mirror at the same time using hard ups mirror on multiple axes. You just have to hold shift. So watch Alt X, right? And I'm going to press uh, X to reset all the modifier settings. Just a side tip. Hold shift, right? And I'm going to mirror to these axes, Z and Y at the same time. You just hold shift. Now all the gizmo here, right? all the all the points are red which indicates you used up all the axes, right? But what if you wanted to have two mirrors? Now you can do this too, watch. So what I do is I press Alt X and mirror once, then Alt X and either go here and choose new modifier or press A. You can see here you have all the options. And then you click on the gizmo you want to mirror from, right? And you're going to have a secondary modifier on the Z axis, right? And you can do it as many times as you want. Now, after you do this, don't forget to reset your mirror because it's going to get stuck in your modifier to press X and you're going to be good to go. Okay, cool. So that's method number one. Two, symmetry. Now, symmetry is interesting. And honestly, I prefer to use a mesh machine because it's quicker. Uh, so if I symmetrize with mesh machine, I just do this, right? So I go to edit mode. I press Alt X, move my mouse, and I'm done. There's a small gizmo here, you see that, with the mesh machine, and this dot denotes the direction in which you're going to be mirroring, and it's view sensitive, so be careful. That's the fastest way to symmetrize in Blender, right? But Hardops also has a symmetry mirror, so you have to simply go here and choose symmetry, or scroll using Alt to symmetry, and simply symmetrize and then you're going to symmetrize and this mesh so it's going to run a mirror and apply it that's how it works okay so that's number two now method number three is going to be flipping the mesh which is really cool right so if i have this mesh here right and it's applied okay and i have it on this side what i can do i can flip that mesh so watch alt x and i can go to this menu right and select flip and I'm going to be able to flip my mesh, which is really cool. So you could flip it across, for example, a cursor. So watch, Alt X, then press Tab to reveal the menu, choose the pivot point cursor and flip. So it's going to flip this object to the other side. Because, you know, normally what you need to do is run a mirror, apply the mirror, remove this mesh, very annoying, right? or simply, you know, move this mesh to the other side. It could be complicated when you have you know, modifiers and all this on it. So flipping is usually a better idea. Now, let me show you the last trick, which is the really cool trick with decals. And by the way, if you want to learn more about, you know, this add on about hard ups and box cutter, I suggest you grab our course, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0, because it's the most complete source of knowledge on these two add ons on the market even more complete than the documentation which is outdated at the moment and you will not find a video that covers all these features the course is super extensive and it covers all the tools the menus the modeling section and advanced section which explains all this nonsense here which in many cases is quite actually useful so you may find a lot of useful tools in all these menus and sub menus but anyway let me show you this cool trick so let's go to um, cycles let me enable our add-on material works and I'm going to pop some mat on it. Okay. And enable HDRI, maybe switch it to simple. And now let's pop a decal here. So I'm going to pop a regular, you know, text decal, 
because this is the best way to showcase this. And I'm going to apply it, right? So D and project with, you know, decal motion with PG. Now let's mirror this to the other side. So click the decal, click the mesh, Alt X, remember to reset the mirror, right? So X to reset the mirror and then mirror it, right? And you see the issue is that it mirrored all right, but it's flipped. So normally what you would need to do is go here, go to mirror data and mirror you. Now you can also do this with decal machine, but it's annoying. I have a better way of doing this. So watch this. Let me just nuke this mirror. Right? What you want to do is you want to go here and alt X and you want to go to the settings and you want to enable this one flip texture on U axis, right? And if you're going to set it up, every single decal is going to be mirrored correctly. And what you can do is you can, you know, set it permanently. So grab a cube, Alt X, set this setting, right? Then remove the cube, clean all this nonsense here, right? So just, you know, delete, um, delete all the characters, clean the blend file, and then simply save startup file and also save preferences, right? And when you open Blender, you know, the next time your mirror is going to be set to uh, to this uh, to this settings so every time you're gonna mirror decals You will have this set and this is one of the many features and quirks of hard ups and box cutter And again the course the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0 is going to teach you all of them So the course is super robust and you know really extensive 22 hours of content You don't have to watch everything, but trust me you will want to because if you really want to master these add-ons and you want to flesh out your own personal workflow, you first have to know what these tools do. And this course will show you everything, right? So grab the course. It's really great. It's a second edition. Tons of people got it and it's one of our best selling courses. The link is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.